Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. I'm excited to announce that this channel is sponsored by Ultima Guard. For the past few years, Ultima Guard has been hard at work finding ways to protect your cards without damaging the planet, and they have discovered it. Boulders, once made entirely of plastic, are now made of 87% renewable resources. They also come in a variety of sizes, including this new Return to Earth 100 card boulder. If you're like me, you have a ton of decks and don't want those boxes filling up an entire suitcase, this box is the perfect solution. Find out if your local game store carries the new Return to Earth boulders from Ultima Guard, or click on the link down below to order yourself a set from Amazon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Alix. Huge thanks to Alix and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Alix reached out asking for a Sphinx Typal deck led by Yannette Cryptic Sovereign. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Yenet Cryptic Sovereign is a 5-mana 3-5 legendary Sphinx with flying, vigilance, and menace. Additionally, whenever she attacks, we reveal the top card of our library. If that card's mana value is odd, we may cast it without paying its mana cost. Otherwise, we draw a card. So Yenet Cryptic Sovereign lets us cast spells for free so long as she's attacking, the spell has an odd value, and the spell was on top of our library. If only we had a way to manipulate the top of our library. Now, we don't want every card in our deck to have an odd mana value, just the ones we want to cast for free. Flipping over a counterspell when nothing is on the stack doesn't do us a lot of good other than letting our opponents know that we have a counterspell. But before we get to our deck list, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Flooded Strand, Polluted Delta, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Scalding Tarn, Verdant Catacombs, Rafine's Tower, Hallowed Fountain, Watery Grave, Godless Shrine, Sea of Clouds, Morphic Pool, Vault of Champions, Deserted Beach, Shipwreck Marsh, Shattered Sanctum, Glacial Floodplain, Ice Tunnel, Snowfield Sinkhole, Prairie Stream, Sunken Hollow, Sunlit Marsh, Bajuka Bog, Reliquary Tower, Terramorphic Expanse, Three Plains, Four Islands, and Two Swamps. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Progress, Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Hierarchy, Azorius Signet, Demir Signet, Orzhov Signet, Chromatic Lantern, Decanter of Endless Water, Commander Sphere, Wayfarer's Bauble, and Crucible of Worlds make up our Mana Ramp package. Yes, I know that there are a lot of even mana mana rocks in the list, but generally I'd rather run a good two mana value mana rock as opposed to a mid-tier three mana value rock. Entreat the Dead, Consecrated Sphinx, Emergency Powers, Brilliant Ultimatum, Ristic Study, Kindred Discovery, Elminster, Mystic Speculation, and Seagate Restoration make up our card advantage package. Voidrend, Swords to Plowshares, Mortify, Path to Exile, Anguished Unmaking, Esper Charm, Generous Gift, Vindicate, Mystic Confluence, Crib Swap, Imprisoned in the Moon, Counterspell, An Offer You Can't Refuse, Dovin's Veto, 
and Fracture help us to control the game and remove annoying permanents or spells. Devastation Tide and In Garrick's Wake help us to reset the board as needed. Aminatu the Fate Shifter, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Cavalier of Gales, Scroll Rack, Sensei's Divining Top, Soothe Saying, Haunted Crossroads, Future Sight, and Penance all help us ensure that the top card of our library is whatever we want it to be. Temporal Mastery, Defiler of Dreams, Rafine Scheming Seer, Windreader Sphinx, Dazzling Sphinx, Sphinx of Uthun, Prognostic Sphinx, Magister Sphinx, Enigma Thief, Scholar of the Lost Trove, Ether Sworn Sphinx, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, Sphinx Ambassador, Sphinx Mindbreaker, and Sphinx of the Final Word make up the core of our deck. Now that we have our deck list, we should compare it to our checklist. 51 mana sources split between 36 lands, 13 pieces of ramp, 1 MDFC, and our commander. 9 pieces of card advantage, plus 9 more that allow us to manipulate the top of our deck. 15 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Bajuka Bog and Emergency Powers. No sudden I win cards, but lots of value. Because Yenit doesn't care how much the mana value is, just that it's an odd number, this means we can cast 5, 7, or even 9 mana spells for free. I even included a few miracle cards in the deck, which I figured we could easily run, what with the top deck manipulation. Also, a quick note, I wanted to focus mostly on cards that could be repeatedly used to change the top card of our deck. Brainstorm is just a one-off, so cards like Soothsaying and Penance work far better in a long-term strategy. Do you have a Yenit Cryptic Sovereign deck? What about a Sphinx Typal deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jiraiya, Muffins, Marcus, Phoenix of Ice, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Danny, Alex, Ignis, Daniel, Steve, and Kevin. You guys are awesome. I post new commander deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.